What's up guys, Matt the Roof Master here. Hope you are doing awesome today. So today we are doing the final review, the the final thoughts on the uh, this beautiful Granger Flying V here, the Cerebus, Cerberus, I honestly can't pronounce it, but the title is here. Um, and basically that name comes from some three-headed mythological hellhound uh, that is just absolutely beastly. I'll put a picture in now, and uh, that's what it's based on, which I think is really cool. Which, if we take a look at the twelfth fret logo, it is of the three-headed hellhound. As you can see, you've got the front one and then the two side ones, which I think is a really nice touch. It looks great. So you all heard the demo, okay? The way I decided to do uh, my my videos on this guitar is because when I've been playing it. It just totally speaks for itself. Like, it doesn't need me sitting here going, this is this tone, this is this tone. It d th it would not do it justice. Whereas I feel the demo I put out, just, just let it do its thing. It let it just sing and just chug. And this thing just really did chug, which I think you can agree. I'll give you a quick snippet now of the guitars only from the demo I did with this guitar. So guys, I will be uploading the, well, hopefully be uploading the guitar only ver um, version of the demo I did, record recording with this guitar, uh, because it, it, I think you could agree, it just sounds absolutely chug as hell. So let's talk a little bit about the guitar. I mean, the shape, now I'll admit, the shape of the guitar is very cool. Me personally, it's not a guitar, although I love Flying Vs, it's not a shaped Flying V that I would, I would, naturally go for although I do absolutely dig this thing it's like a weapon as well as a guitar but there is definitely some people out there that this guitar will just fit with you it would just be your thing and it is such an I mean the detail that went into this the design the shape the little carverways here the scarred kind of pattern on the sides and on the pickups and on the bridge just so much attention and detail went into making this guitar, and uh, I've just got my cable stuck, that's a bit embarrassing. Anyway, um, and I mean, you look at the finish, as they described it as dried blood, we can see here, which is kind of, when it does. It probably doesn't look it on the camera, but up close, it really does give you that dried blood kind of look, which just makes it evil, you know, which is great. And then just, just like the, the fretboard, the, the ebony and the, the Asian ebony neck, it's just, it is a work of art and so much hard work and love goes into this guitar. I mean, the headstock, the headstock is pretty small. It may not come across on the camera, but if you see it in person, it is really small um, and you will pick that up straight away. But I think if it was any bigger, it wouldn't look right. So it, it's a cool headstock design and the size of it will throw you off, but it just works with this guitar. Um, and a, another cool feature, which I really thought was cool, when they first showed me, was the, the inlay, the 12 fret inlay and the, the fret markers on the side, they glow up with UV light, which you would have seen in the last video. Uh, I think that's so cool. I was fascinated. Anything that lights up with lights, it just, just fascinates me. I'm easily pleased. Um, I don't know when you'd ever get the chance to show that off when you're playing it, unless you had some UV lights shining on you on stage. But for me to know it's there is a really, really cool thing. It just, it's just cool. It's just a nice little touch. So really, my overall thoughts on this guitar is, although not my kind of V-ish type, it's an absolute beast. It really is. And it plays great. It's so comfortable to play. It just... It, it, just, it just feels great, it sounds great. The pickups in it, the iron gear, hammerheads, never ever played through them before. They sound amazing. I wasn't sure what to expect, but first time I plugged in, I was like, oh, uh, it was some serious chug. I did, did enjoy that a lot. Um, there is one critique that I will say that I did mention to the guys that make it, um, which I couldn't really do anything about, is the jack. If we can show you, the jack is like here, okay, right? And uh, they said that with 
limited space, which is always the case on a V. It was the only place it could go. I know flying Vs really aren't for sitting down, but for me, when I was recording, I was just sitting down and the lead was here and it was jabbing in and it was I was just like really, really conscious of it and it kept cutting out a bit. So I thought, right, so if you use a right angle lead, it works fine, but if you've got just got a normal sticky out one, it will be a bit of a problem if you sit down with it. But I mean, what normal person would sit down with a flying V, right? I, you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't sit down. Uh, but the, the guitar just speaks for itself. That's why I did these videos the way I did. Just give you a full fat chug demo so this guitar can just really tell its story and, and show you what it can do. Not many clean tones. There was a few clean underlaying tones in that demo. Underlay! Um, but you can't really hear them, but I personally chose to do that because you wouldn't play anything clean on this guitar. This guitar is just for pure, rotten, heavy, dirty, metal deathness, okay? So that's why I opted to just give you some pure chug. I, I, the cleans do sound great. I did do some cleans and I've heard the clean, heard the clean tones. They do sound good, but you won't play clean tones on this. This is just for the heavy stuff. So guys, I would love to know your thoughts on this guitar. Um, I mean, Granger guitars, they are so amazing. Daz and Gaz, uh, the dudes that make them, they're super friendly, they're super talented to make build guitars like these. And if you remember, I did reviews on um, a couple other guitars they did from the Hades range and the Apollo. I'll put the link to the video in the description and at the end of this video so you can check it out. They make stunning guitars, really, really beautiful guitars. They sound great and every one of them plays just amazing. And they do, like, they've got a full sort of range of guitars. They've got like the metal-y type stuff and they've got more rocky stuff, that kind of vibe. Anything from affordable up to some more high-end stuff. Um, but I, I, just, I just dig it. I love their builds. That is why they are going to be the company that build my signature Flying V, which I'm really excited about, and I know you guys are too, and they're excited too, and I'm really excited. So it's, I mean, with work work like this, I mean, you just know it's gonna turn out great. Uh, it's such an awesome guitar. Big thumbs up for Granger Guitars on the, uh, this guitar, I can't pronounce it, but it's just evil, and because all their guitars are named after like, like gods and mythological stuff, which I think is a really cool idea. Something different, different, different. Um, it's really cool that just just the look of this guitar, the feel of it, the sound of it, it's just an absolute machine. If you're interested in this guitar and you would like this guitar, this one, go over to Facebook, search Granger Guitars, send them a message, have a chat with them. If you want something built for yourself, Again, send them a message. They'll build anything you want. They will get it done for you. And I'm sure if you uh, say, oh, I'm in the Riff Master family, they'll give you a little deal. So guys, that is not all. Granger Guitars have also hooked us up with some awesome little goodies for giveaways. I mean, who's up for it? Do you want a giveaway? Who wants giveaways? We will be doing some giveaways because we've got some merch right here. So we've got some Granger Guitar t-shirts, which I am wearing right now. You see, Granger Guitars represent so we've got some t-shirts to give away guys we have some goodie bags granger guitars goodie bags which is awesome let's have a little peek inside the goodie bag and uh, in here we've got an empty bag that shouldn't be in there uh we've got we've got we've got we've got, we've got some beer mats some beer mats for all of you that love your beverages maybe even like a black currant or an orange or a coffee we got some cool granger guitars mats we've got a cool little booklet with like designs on it. We can see here, all different designs and, and, and goodness, which would be a great read. We've got Granger Guitar postcard. If you want to send somebody a postcard, why not do it in style and give them a Granger Guitar postcard? We've got a Granger Guitar keyring. These are awesome. I dig these. These are fantastic. They look great. Granger Guitar keyring. We've got Granger Guitar stickers. Now, me and Lady Riffmaster have put one of these on the back window of our car representing again Granger Guitars. Uh, we got more postcards, more postcards. And I'm not sure what this is. I don't want to open it because it's yours, but it's got Granger Guitars on it, which is going to be good whatever it is, right? And we got guitar picks as well. Uh, uh. So yeah, little baggies of goodies. And we've also got three posters, sick posters, 
that they have designed for their guitars. So this one is for the Hades, which is really, really cool. The next one we have is for this guitar we've just done, the three-headed hellhound typage dog thing, which is great. And then we've got this one. This is like some kind of like Apollo, it's for the Apollo, some zombie looking type scary goodness, which is great. I think that's really cool. Uh, so big thank you Granger Guitars for this merch. Guys, if you want some of this, let's do, let's have some fun. Let's do some giveaways. I will be announcing uh, what we're going to do to give this away very soon. It's going to be great. I'm excited. Uh, but yeah, overall, the guitar is great. I really highly recommend you go check their stuff out and get one for yourself. If you want a top quality guitar that plays great, looks great, and it's good price as well. For the quality, the prices are really good. Or if you want to make one for yourself, head over to Facebook, Granger Guitars, check them out, send them a message, show them some love. I'll put the link to their Facebook page down below and their website and all that cool stuff because not only do they make guitars, they make guitar parts. So the bridge on this guitar is a Granger guitar part, so they make it themselves, which I think is really cool. They do a bunch of other stuff. They're super talented, super awesome, super friendly, and they make me smile. So do their guitars which is cool. So guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for checking it out. Go check out Granger Guitars and uh, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and we'll have a good time and we'll chat and all that cool stuff. So as always guys, rock out, be awesome. If you want some merch, let me know. Let's get the hype going for Granger merch. <laughs> yeah, rock out guys, be awesome and I will see you very soon. See ya. I don't know what this was. I'm not sure, but let's just go with it, yeah?